If one day I could retire, would I read novels by the fire and sit on benches making lists of all the things I'd always missed? The sounds of birds and names of trees, the feeling of a summer breeze. Would I swap emails on my screen for the growing of a first broad bean? Drink the odd half pint of lager? Book my holidays at Saga? The castle and cathedral spire, would those be me when I retire? The trouble is, I'm not inspired by many friends who have retired. I'm done with stressful business trips, but non-exec directorships don't thrill me either. Nor the pub, nor mixed fours at the tennis club. I have one friend. Let's call him Rolf. He's young, retired, and just plays golf. I'm not like him. I'd need to feel, before I jump the hamster wheel, and stand there feeling lost and dizzy, that in retirement, I'd be busy. But more important, where's the cash? Without that, retirement's rash. The statements in my bedside table tell me that my income's stable, but even though I search and stare, the thousands needed just aren't there. I have love, life, health and pleasure. But I won't find no old age leisure. And that's the difference, you see between young golfing Rolf and me. How much do you need to fund old age? Some advert asks my Facebook page. It just won't go, which I suppose is all because the advert knows, as ads do on the internet, that what you want is what you get. What I see is pop-up blues, sky, sea, a summer cruise, and greens. The hilly yomps for miles, two contented lived-in smiles. No beige, no cardigans, no slippers, but scuba diving, deep with flippers. Could that be me? Could that be us? I ask my wife, who doesn't fuss about these things, for unlike me, she doesn't do anxiety. When we married years ago, neither one of us could know that something else would come with me, some thing to make us two a threesome. Go to book group, phone a friend, she says. Your worries never end. That's the trouble with my wife. She never sees the stress in life. She's right, of course. She makes me see the things I'm lucky not to be. Cold, homeless, hopeless, weak. Victim, jobless, unloved geek. I'm not sick, unneeded, mean. I'm not Rolf on the 14th green. I have my sons. They're wonderful. My glass half empty, theirs half full. We're saving up a small deposit. It might buy a bedroom closet. But stop, a voice says, calm your fears. Accept you'll work for 10 more years or maybe more. So make a plan and be prepared as best you can. Who's this? My wife? The shrink? The drink? I do not know, but I do think retirement plans could work for me and what my next big step must be. I stand more weightless, free and tall. There is no fear in me at all. I dial the phone. My soul is bare. Oh, hello, Judy. Is Rolf there? <laughs>